Good morning, everybody. Today, we are having a special assembly to celebrate Founders Day. 147 years ago, on January the 19th, 1874, Manchester High opened for the first time. Normally, we would come together to remember the founders and celebrate the history of our remarkable school. Today, the school community can't be together because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But in these disconnected times, it's even more important for us to stop for a moment and remember what a bold and enlightened step it was in the 1870s to consider setting up an academic school for girls. This short film from the school archive explains why Manchester High is so special and so important in the history of girls' education. We should all be very proud to be part of its history. Before 1874, educational opportunities for girls were very limited. Women couldn't go to university and they couldn't enter the professions. Some people even believed that book learning would be dangerous for girls' health and overstrain their delicate constitutions. There were only a few really academic schools for girls in Great Britain. Manchester High is the very first academic school for girls in the north of England. The founders of the school believed that Manchester's daughters deserved the very best education which could be given, to fit them for any future which might be before them. We take our educational opportunities for granted today but in 1874, the founders were embarking on a very daring and risky project. They launched a public appeal in 1873 to found a model girls' school of the highest type. And in the archive, we still have a list of the subscriptions published in 1873. This was like an early form of crowdfunding, and it was groundbreaking. Within a few weeks, over 140 Mancunians had contributed sums ranging from £1 to £150. It seems amazing to us today, but the founders were very nervous that parents wouldn't want to send their daughters to an academic school. Initially, only about 20 girls applied, so an advertising campaign was launched and leaflets were put through doors to publicise the school. But the founders needn't have worried. When Manchester High School for Girls opened for the first time on the 19th of January 1874, 62 girls enrolled and a hansom cab had to be ordered to take the heavy weight of gold brought in as fees to the Union Bank on Oxford Street. From the outset, Manchester High was open to girls of all religions and social classes. This was also groundbreaking at the time. We should be very proud that ethnic and religious diversity has been at the heart of Manchester High from the very beginning. The school started out in two converted houses on Oxford Road, where the University Medical School stands today. It quickly outgrew its first home and a new school was built in Dover Street. The building still stands and is now part of the university. Manchester High was a very progressive school with an ambitious curriculum and Dover Street gave the girls even more educational opportunities. Girls now had science laboratories and PE facilities just like their brothers. We even had a collection of animals, including two kittens who paraded corridors and the dining hall with even more majesty than the prefects. There was also a grass snake of fabulous length, a family of green lizards and Tommy the Toad. And the pupils of Manchester High quickly proved that the founders were right to encourage girls to have the highest aspirations. In 1886, Ethel Rome, Annie Kay and Edith Lang 
were three of the first four women to graduate from the University of Manchester. In 1898, Sarah Lowe and Dorothea Popplewell were the first two women to graduate in science from Manchester University. In 1905, Catherine Corbett was one of the first two women to graduate from Manchester University Medical School. In 1906, Christabel Pankhurst was the first woman to be awarded a law degree at Manchester University. Carrie Morrison was the first woman to qualify as a solicitor in England in December 1922. And Edith Hesling was the first woman to be called to the bar at Gray's Inn in 1923. These impressive firsts showed just how much women could achieve and Manchester High girls have continued to break new ground ever since. In time, Dover Street became too small and the governors chose our present site on Grangethorpe Road to replace it. Last year at Founders Day, we celebrated 80 years at Grangethorpe and remembered that in the night of the 22nd to the 23rd of December 1940, only three months after the new building was opened, the school was hit by a landmine and almost completely destroyed. However, new accommodation was found during the Christmas holidays and school started on the correct day in January. Not a single day's teaching was lost. Obviously, there is a parallel to be drawn with our situation today. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, not a single day's teaching has been lost and we've all adapted to remote learning during lockdowns. Our archive tells us that over the last 147 years, the school has faced very many serious challenges. Not the least, establishing a pioneering academic school for girls at a time when girls' education was not valued. And also wars, bombing and rebuilding and the COVID-19 pandemic. Since March 2020, the whole school community, students, parents, staff and governors has experienced challenges which were unimaginable when we celebrated Founders Day last year. But school has risen to the challenge once again. And I'm so proud of the generosity of spirit and good humour with which you've all responded to the crisis and adapted to new routines. You are making history. At a Founders Day sometime in the future, students, staff and the whole MHSG community will be remembering and celebrating your resilience and resourcefulness. But as we conclude our Founders Day assembly, I'm very proud that the school has proved yet again that our founders were right to believe in the importance and value of educating girls so that they can face any future which lies before them. I have no doubt that if they could see it today, they too would be very proud of the school they fought so hard to establish. I'd like to finish our assembly today in the traditional way by reading the names of our founders. Next time you're in reception, have a look at the founders board, which names some of the very distinguished Manchester citizens who were responsible for setting up the school. We remember William James Kennedy, Benjamin Morgan Cowie, Matilda Mary Robbie, Abigail Behrens, Harriet Anne Derbyshire, Augustus Samuel Wilkins, Robert Duckinfield Derbyshire, Margaret Emily Gaskell, Edward Donner, and others, our founders and benefactors.